Welcome to 2035 eMobility Taiwan. I'm your host, James Huang. Join me for our eMobility online tech talk. Industry leaders will share their outlook on the major areas of the global e-mobility ecosystem. Our online tech talk will reveal how technology is disrupting mobility. Also, be sure to catch our e-mobility global demo day. The top 10 of 89 startups from 26 countries will show you their best ideas at our future star pavilion. And for the latest e-mobility solutions, you can connect with global innovators at our X-Mobility Showcase. The future of e-mobility is here, whether it's vehicle connectivity, self-driving, sharing, electrification, or human vehicle interface. You can see it all right here at 2035 e-mobility Taiwan. The e-mobility revolution means challenges and opportunities. With the government supporting the industry and talents, Taiwan is your best ally for overcoming those challenges and making the best of those opportunities. For reliable hardware and software, key components and semiconductors, the heart of every smart vehicle, Taiwan is your best e-mobility partner. For today's online TED Talk, our guest is RAC Electric Vehicle Incorporated, a leading developer of electric buses in Taiwan. RAC offers electric low-flow buses that meet Taiwan's energy efficiency and carbon footprint reduction standards. Hi, uh, my name is Michael Huang. I work for Mobiletron Electronics, and RAC is uh, our subsidiary that uh, that's a manufacturer for electric buses in Taiwan. Uh, my name is Richard Sharman, and I work for Coach and Bus Week magazine in the UK. The magazine goes out to all the UK-based operators and we also review vehicles as well. I'm just going to ask you a few questions today about RAC. Sure. Uh, first question is, RAC was formed in 2008. What was the original goal of the company? Sure. Well, we hope to create infinite possibilities of green mobility through electric vehicles and starting from the most fundamental way so that everyone can commute with zero carbon emission. Okay, that's great. In 2011, you put your first bus into service in Taipei. How many buses have you built and are they working with multiple operators? Well, as you know, introduction of electric buses uh, are heavily influenced by government policy. So up to now, RAC has been working with more than 10 bus operators in Taiwan and there are more than 200 RAC electric buses on the road. We are also the first manufacturer in Taiwan to qualify for a government-led demonstration project, which involves delivering of 300 uh, electric buses to various local operators. Okay, that sounds great. RAC products differ from many because they have batteries under the saloon floor rather than the roof. Does this mean that your chassis can be built on by other body manufacturers? Yes, that's right. Um, RAC's Technology Transfer Partnership is a diversified business model. So as long as our partners or their suppliers have the ability, we can provide technology transfer services such as vehicle control, body structure, key component manufacturing, green energy, smart charging, depot construction, um, smart grid engineering, as well as energy storage systems. Okay, so have RAC fully built any buses themselves? And if so, what is the maximum seating capacity and length? Okay, our, our latest product, RAC 700, is a 12 meter bus that carries up to 58 passengers. It has 28 seats, which includes two wheelchair spaces. So we are also going to release a new 10 meter model in 2022. Okay, and what is the current range of these vehicles uh, with a 280 kilowatt battery uh, and how long would they take to charge? The range is around 260 kilometers and it takes three to four hours for full charge in the depot. And the efficiency is approximately one kilowatt hour per kilometer. 
What batteries do you use in the REC electric bus? I understand they're the same as used in the Nissan Leaf. Yeah, we use the same AESC and MC batteries as uh, Nissan Leaf. Okay. Um, and have REC thought of the impact of using batteries and that you have found a second use for them? Can, and can you explain more on this, please? Yeah, sure. So when the battery capacity declines to 70 to 80%, it may become challenging to meet the vehicle's daily operating mileage. But these retired batteries can still be used in less demanding second life applications, such as energy storage systems for industrial or domestic applications. And the advantage of uh, RAC system is that the retired bus battery pack can be used in the energy storage systems without any changes or modification. And, the system can also accept different types or makes of batteries. Okay, have you already got this in operation in uh, some locations already? Yes, uh, we already have this set up in Taiwan. Okay, that's great. Uh, bus operators are able to see in real time how the batteries are performing. Do REC also monitor this on behalf of the operator? Yes, sure. The battery monitoring Battery monitoring is a very important part of fleet management. And Mobiletron RAC has a subsidiary that specializes in intelligent transport systems. And we have developed our own fleet management platform that monitors real-time vehicle driving status, battery life, battery temperature, cruising range, driving behavior, etc. Okay, that's great. REC are used to try have used tried and tested components from Wabco and ZF in its buses. Is this so the product can be easily used in other markets such as America and Europe? Yeah, that's correct. So we have used components from various world-class manufacturers and fine-tuned to suit our vehicle needs. Now this enables our technology transfer partners to easily adapt and source parts locally. Okay, so that reduces downtime then, basically? Yes, of course. Okay, brilliant. Uh, you are working with um, mobile trying to working with operators to provide a technology transfer and partnership system. Can you explain the full benefits of this service, please? Sure. So with the increasing awareness of climate change, many countries have set out their zero carbon policies and electric vehicle related services are one of the most important strategy to achieve net zero. So the associated services will, will improve and promote the efficiency of energy use, at the same time increasing the opportunities for local manufacturing. And technology transfer customers will not only improve the environmental quality, but also create local employment opportunities. Okay. You recently exhibited an RAC bus chassis at the 2035 e-mobility show in Taiwan. What were the visitors' reactions to the product and how did you find the show? Uh, we had a very good show in Taipei with a lot of interest and uh, inquiry from potential partners and customers. And the visitors were particularly impressed by the integration between vehicle and software systems, as well as the total ecosystem technology transfer services that we can provide. So we would like to also thank Titra for the recommendation to exhibit in uh, eMobility 2035. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, in the UK, what projects are you currently working on? Uh, we do have a couple of projects going on in the UK and we are currently discussing the details with our uh, cooperation with our local partners. Uh, more information will be available in 2022. Excellent. We look forward to hearing that. Mm -hmm. um, so in the UK, is there a possibility that the bus chassis will be used, can come over and be used in the UK? Yeah, that, that's right. I think that's our plan. That is our plan to uh, to bring to bring in as a either full chassis or or like like I mentioned, technology transfer partnership. Yeah. And using yeah. that partnership, does that mean that bus operators in the UK will be able to benefit from the full spectrum of your services, i.e. infrastructure, fleet yes, management that, and so on. Th that's correct. That's correct. We Basically, we can provide a total solution to bus operators 
uh, in Taiwan, we actually um, already provide such a solution to bus operator. For example, in Taipei, uh, there's a Xinxin uh, bus company. So we, we manage the whole um, construction of the charging depot, the design and construction of charging depot, also provide them, provide them with the uh, uh, a fleet management platform so they can monitor the charging status and everything and also the day-to-day -day, um, op uh, vehicle operating statistics. Yeah. yeah. So an operator can come to you and uh, you'll basically be a one-stop shop for them and your expertise exactly. will deal with everything in regards exactly. to electric vehicles. Exactly. Because it's a very diversified um, expertise in the group. So, yeah. you know, we, we have everything from hardware to software. Thank you very much for answering our questions today. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Hi, everyone. Welcome to 2035 eMobility Taiwan. Here we are at the booth of RAC, the key player of the e-buses industry here in Taiwan. And we are lucky to have Elvis today Hi. to Hello. give us a brief introduction about RAC and their products. Please, Elvis. Hi, everyone. I'm Elvis from the RAC. You know, RAC is the Taiwan bus manufacturer with the in-house capability in Taiwan. We established 15 years ago. As early as 2011, we rolled out the first e-bus in Taiwan. So up to now, we have 200 buses in Taiwan in 12 cities using our electric bus. Mm. And behind me is our vehicle, 10 meter bus, with the 280 kilowatt hour batteries. The battery is enough enough to do the same work as a piece of bus do. Mm. So you don't need to reduce the uh, service service. So the driver don't need to uh, drive in back and forth to the depot for the charging. Mm. So it's a perfect product in Taiwan. So, you just heard the good and the strengths about the e-bus. Maybe we can go on board to yes. see the panel there. Let's go. Let's go. So, Elvis, we can say that the battery is the heart of the e-bus, right? Indeed, Hero. IAC made the safety the top priority in design. So, our battery cell is from the Japan, AEC. The fed speed for itself, more than 500,000 units there's their whole record, little estimate. Mm. So, unique charging design to allow our battery store under here and the, uh, underneath the uh, chassis. We don't need to put the battery on the top of the bottle. They can improve, improve the stability and the overall efficiency. Okay, so it really saves the um, storage and also um, increase the efficiency for the current Yeah, device. indeed. Yes, okay. with the bin driver, the first the safety elements. So, IAC, through the experience from the hundreds of drivers to enhance our driver assistant features, ADAS. So we are the first one successfully integrated a lot of features like a, a blind spot detection. He can detect pedestrian and cyclist in Taiwan. It's very important. Second, we also integrate a round view, like a bird view. He has the 360 degree view to improve safety, then keeping. We also uh, have the driver monitor system in case of the driver does off. And also, this system can do a lot of diagnosis system to uh, analyze the information from the vehicle. So Elvis, how about the powertrain of the e-bus? Carol, it, it asks the right questions. Our motor is in tai from Taiwan Teco. He incorporates, so you drive smart, you save a lot of energy. And what makes us the remarkable is that we are the only one bus maker using the transmission in electric bus. Mm. So the feature our bus has to be 120 per kilometer per hour and the gradeability 30%. Mm. And more important is the input efficiency. So per one kilometer per kilowatt hour, mm. so the efficiency is very higher. So in the long run, Electric bus will pay back the upfront cost mm -hmm. in a couple of years and continue over the saving the year to come. Okay, so it's not only energy saving, it's also money saving bus for us, right? Yes. Okay. 
So Elvis, is it very troublesome for the bus company to estimate the, um, the efficiency of the battery or is it difficult for them to realize there's something wrong with their battery? Mm, it's quite easy to do that. Uh, the data not just show on the bus, he also trains to our cloud system to show on the, our platform. So bus operator, they can easily get the information they need to manage the, the battery safety. So on board and the back-to-back -back software communication, we provide the in-time data and he also send alert to the driver, to the depot and to the government. Like uh, this is our platform, you can check every single cell on your bus, the voltage difference and temperature, you know. Heating up is never a good to our batteries. Mm, yes, just like a cell phone, right? Yes. So with so many elements and the cutting edge technology, we can say that RAC is not just a company who only manufacturing e-bus, right? Yeah, we are not. Uh, you know, to start a whole new bus from scratch is quite expensive. It may not be realistic. So our strategy is to transfer our technology to our partner. You know, in terms of the technology and semiconductor car in electrics, Taiwan RAC is ahead of the other company. So. Uh, our partner, he can use our platform, our driving chassis. They can build their body on top of it to make the, their uh, own design to the maxima and uh, to shorten the um, time to the market. Okay, so if you want to find a total solution, don't forget to come to 2035 eMobility Taiwan here at the RAC to find your own solutions here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Elvis.